Lesson 282. No, one must judge every person favorably, even if the person is totally wicked. One must search and find in him some bit of good regarding which he is not wicked. But finding him this bit of good and judging favorably, one actually elevates him to the, direct, to the direction of righteousness of righteousness, and is able to bring him to repentance. This is alluded to in just a little bit, and there is no wicked. You will contemplate his place, and he is not there. This verse is warning us to judge everyone favorably. Even if one sees that someone is totally wicked, one must nevertheless search and seek to find in him some bit of good regarding which he is not wicked. This is just a little bit and there is no wicked, for one must search in him for that little bit of good that he still possesses where he is not wicked. For though he is wicked, how is it possible that he should that he should still not possess any bit of good? How is it possible that he never perform any commandment or good deed in his entire his entire life? Finding in him a bit of good in which he is not wicked and judging him favorably, one actually elevates him from the direction of wickedness to the direction of righteousness until he ultimately repents as a result. This is just just a little bit and there is no wicked. By finding just a little bit of good in this wicked where he is is not wicked then you will contemplate his place and he is not there for when one contemplates and contemplates and focuses on his place and level he will not be at the place he originally was for by having found in him a bit of good some point of good and judge him favorably one actually elevates him from the, from the, the direction of wickedness to the direction of righteousness thus you will contemplate his place and he is still not and he is still and he is not there understand this Similar, similar similarly one must find that find the same in oneself. It is, it is common knowledge that one must be very careful to always be joyful and to keep extremely far from sadness. And explained in several places, especially lesson two twenty four. And even one who begins, and even when one begins to, to look into oneself and see that one possesses no good and is full of sins and forces of evil, want to cast one down on this account to sadness and despair. Nevertheless, one must not allow himself oneself to fall because of this. On the contrary, on the contrary, one must seek and find some bit of good within oneself. For how is it possible that one has not done some commandment or good deed one's entire life. And even when one begins to explore that good deed and sees, and sees that it is too, that it too is damaged beyond repair, one sees that even that commandment, one sees that even that commandment or holy act that one had merited, merited doing is also filled with ulterior motives, foreign thoughts, and many blemishes. Nevertheless, how is it possible that that, 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 that commandment or holy did that and uh, that that commandment of a holy deed not have any bit of good for the fact is that however it is there was some good point in that commandment that in that commandment or good deed that one had done so the person must seek and search to find within oneself some bit of good or with which with which to revive oneself and rejoice. And by searching and finding some bit of good within oneself, one actually brings oneself from, from the direction of wickedness to the direction of righteousness, uh, to the direction of righteousness, righteousness and becomes able to repent. As in just a little bit, and there is no wicked. You will contemplate his place and he is not there. In other words, just as one must judge one's others, judge other, others favorably, even the wicked, and find some good points in them, by way of which one actually brings them out, them out of the direction of wickedness to the direction of righteousness. As in just a little bit, you will contemplate. A soul must one a soul must one judge one's own self one's one's own self favorably, finding within oneself some good point that will still possess that one still possesses in order to encourage oneself so that one's not to totally despair. On the contrary, one must encourage oneself and rejoice with a bit of good that one finds within oneself, specifically with having merited to perform some commandment or good deed at some time during one's life. Then one must continue to search in order to find another good deed within another good thing with another good thing in oneself. And even if that good thing is also filled with many dregs, one must still find some good point in it. Continuously searching and collecting more good points. In this way, one creates a melody as explained elsewhere. It is like someone playing a musical instrument who collects the good spirit from the broken spirit, the despondent spirit. In short, holy melody is extremely sublime, is known, and is essentially made by the selection of the good from the bad by selecting and collecting the good notes from among the bad notes. That is. <coughs> how melodies and songs are made, study, the, study there deeply. Therefore, in Lesson 54, therefore, by, by not allowing oneself to fall, but encouraging oneself by searching and seeking and finding some good points within oneself, collecting and sorting these good points from amidst one's bad, bad and dregs, one creates a melody. Then one is able to pray, to sing, and to praise God. To pray, to sing, and to praise God. For it is known that when a person despairs on account of one's grossness and evil deeds, seeing how very far one really <clears throat> is from holiness, when he's usually unable, when he's usually unable to pray at all, one is totally unable to, to open one's mouth on account of the great sadness, depression, and heaviness that falls upon him by having seen how greatly distant one is from God. But when, but when one encourages oneself with this advice, even though one knows that one has done evil deeds and countless 
sins and is so very, very distant, so very, very distant from God. Nevertheless, one searches and seeks and finds within oneself some good points that one still has, reviving oneself and rejoicing oneself in this way. For surely a person should be very joyous, and with every, with each and every good point of Jewish holiness that one still finds within oneself. Then, when one revives oneself and rejoices, one is thereby, there, one is thereby able to pray, sing, and praise God. But this is alluded to in I will sing to my God and I, and and with my oath little bit specifically with my ode this is with the bit of me that I find within myself is in just ode a little bit and there is no wicked by, what, by way of this point I am able to sing and to praise God this is I will sing specifically sing that is the melodies and songs that are made by collecting of the good points the Rebbe urged to follow this lesson for it is very fundamental for anyone who wants to come close to God and not forfeit one's eternity. And not forfeit one's eternity. The main reason why most people are distant from God is on account of depression and sadness. They become discouraged upon realizing within themselves how much spiritual damage they have caused by their actions. Each one, and he knows within himself, each one, as he knows within himself the wounds and pains of his heart. This causes them to be discouraged, and most of them give up on themselves completely. On account of this, they pray with a total lack of devotion and refrain from doing even what they are still able to do. Therefore, one must be very, very clever, very clever regarding this issue for all di- for all discouragements or even if it is as re- as a response to evil deeds when has in fact done discouragement sadness and oppression that fall that befall a person as a result is all on account of the forces of evil that discourage that person in order to cast him down completely therefore one must muster great inner strength to follow this lesson to constantly search and seek within oneself for a bit of good for some good points in this way one one revives oneself rejoices anticipates further salvation and is able to pray sing and praise God as in I will pray Praise God with my little bit, by way of which one can truly return to God. And no, someone who was able to compose such melodies, collecting the good points from, from good, the good points found in each Jew, even in Jew, even in Jewish sinners, is able to be a prayer leader. The, this is because the prayer leader is called the agent of the congregation, and he must be a rep- representative of all its members. In other words, he must collect each good point of each member, so that all the good points become an body within him. And then he stands up to pray with all this good that is an agent that it that is an agent of the congregation. He must also possess such a high level that. By virtue of it, that by virtue of it, all the good points yearn for him to become embodied within him. All the good points yearn for him to become embodied within him. Anyone able to compose such melodies, judge each person favorably, even the, the even the irreverent, the irreverent and the wicked. Even the irreverence and the wicked, for he endeavors to search, seek, and find good points in all of them, by way of which melodies are composed. The tzaddik who is on this level is able to be the chazan, prayer leader, and the agent of the congregation. In other words, he is able to lead the prayers, for he possesses the quality necessary for the truly worthy, for the truly worthy, worthy agent of the congregation. He who who must possess the quality that all the good points, who must possess the quality that all the good points are to become. A body within him. Such a person is able to gather all the good points found in, in each individual Jew, even in the Jewish sinners. And no, in each and every generation, there is a leader who is the category of who, who is in the category of Moses, who was a, who was a loyal shepherd. This leader constructs a sanctuary. And no, young children yearning, young children learning with their rabbi, receive their innocent breath from this sanctuary. Therefore, when the child begins to read and study the Torah, he begins from Vayikro, God called to Moses. The last letter of, of Vayikro being a small aleph, which speaks which speaks about the com- completion of the erection of the sanctuary when God called Moses and began to speak to him through the sanctuary. Therefore, the children began begin from this point. For 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 that is from where for that is from where they receive their breath, and that is where they commence. Oh, and that is where they commence to read the letter of the, the that, and that is where they commence to read and enter the Torah. And no, each and every tzaddik of a generation is an aspect of a leader, for in each and every one of them is an aspect of Moses. Each and every one of them at his level constructs an, 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 an aspect of the sanctuary from where the children receive their breath. Each and every one of them at his level according to the aspect of the sanctuary that he constructs will have children receiving from there. Hence, each and every one of the tzaddikim of the generation will have a certain number of children receive their breath from him, each one accordingly. This is alluded to in our sages' teaching, children are punished for the sins of the generation. As written, shepherd, shepherd your goat, by the shepherds mishkonois tents who who are mismashkin taken in place of the shepherds by the shepherds mishkonois means by the shepherds mishkonois means that they receive their breath from the mishkonois of the shepherds leaders who are the speaking of the generation for each one constructs a mishkan sanctuary mishkan sanctuary but to know all this to know which children belong to each and every individual tzaddik and how much they receive from him Oh, to know which children belong to each and every individual tzaddik and, and, and how much they receive from him, to know all the related aspects.
and the generation that will eventually grow out of these children, only the one who is able to compose the above melodies is able to know all this. This is alluded to in our, in our, in our sages' teaching. In our sages' teaching, indeed, they said the chazan sees what the children are reading. Shabbos 11a. The chazan is the one who is able to compose these melodies, who is able to be the chazan and the agent of the congregation to lead the prayers. He sees and knows what the children are reading, where the children are reading from. That is, from which sadik they are receiving their breath, by virtue of which they are reading and entering the Torah. Nanach nach nach nach